Hey, this is Spencer at Langston's Alternative Power. Today we're going to be looking at a low head 6 inch unit. And what we're going to be doing is showing you how to put this new stator on the low head unit where it bolts on. It's super simple. Um, basically, if you want to change them out, it's basically just get your orientation as far as your wires, depending on which way you want them to come out of the unit. Just make sure each one of these are started by hand before you get to cranking down on them. Don't mess the threads up. Make sure you have your keyway in. And this is the keyway here. I put a little bit of lube on it so whenever you get to take it back apart, uh, you don't have too much trouble. These magnets will pull on it pretty good. Let me stick my hand inside of here and hold the shaft while I get the keyway lined up. I think that's it there. Then we'll put the retaining bolt in. I guess that fits pretty good and tight. <clears throat> okay. Now that all that's done, you can see the inside here, that's the lower bearing support and uh, what holds your seal. And then we got, let's turn it up so you can see it a little better. This is your impeller. It actually just screws right on there. Actually, I'm screwing it off right this end and I'll show you. For whatever reason you get some trash or whatever around it you can uh, take it off and clean it up this doesn't need to be tightened with a, any tool whatsoever because the torque of the water spins it in the direction that it's going to tighten it up so, once you get it on here just get it hand tight that way you don't have to beat it off to get it get it back out if you need to take it off for whatever reason like whenever you um, service it and replace the bearing well it might help if I turn it the right way in. let's see yeah we're going the right way now Okay, this piece right here, it's just a piece of six inch pipe that slides in there. This has been machined to where it'll fit inside of it. So basically you just put your adapter here, Funko, Funko coupler, or if you want a hard PVC, adapt it up to an eight inch. And on this end, you need an eight inch also coming in. So you'll have to adapt it down. And We'll do a little voltage test on it. I'm going to take the three phase wires. And just so you don't, if you don't know, it doesn't matter which one of these wires hook where on the rectifier. I got the rectifier over here. And right now I just got it hooked to that light bar. It'll be DC power just to put a little load on it just to. We can check the open circuit voltage on it too. We're just going to give it a spin with the impact gun. If we, uh, can... 
Okay, now we're gonna check and see if this thing's putting out any power. To start with, we're gonna just do an open circuit voltage test. You can see here, it's nothing. All right, we're gonna spin this baby up. We just uh, got these little small test leads hooked to the rectifier, checking it out. That one's ready to go. If you need one, uh, just give us a call at 843-319-4830. Langston's Alternative Power. Y'all have a blessed day.